I was waiting for the right moment to film this video but now I'm realizing that there's nev probably never gonna be a right moment <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with my head first and do this and um, basically I am restarting my new YouTube channel and I know I've, I've probably said that like a few times already um, but this time I really mean it because I really I really want to try to put myself out there and I really want to try to just show my opinion about certain things or like just give advice about certain things that I've been through um, and yeah so um, this video I'm just gonna talk about how to maintain a long distance friendship because whereas it's really easy to make friends while you're abroad or you're in a different city maybe it can be really tricky to like uh, maintain that relationship with that person and I'm not saying like a relationship it doesn't have to be like a romantic one um, but these things can apply to a relationship as well as a friendship um, and I'm saying this because um, one of my best friends is actually living in the UK right now uh, shout out to her um, her name is Alex and I'm gonna link her YouTube down below here uh, so you can watch her stuff because she's actually also um, trying to become a YouTuber just like me uh, and even though we're pretty low-key right now like we don't have any special content or whatever um, we are like pretty hardcore youtubers like we've always watched YouTube and we we just love making videos and stuff like that and anyway if you wonder what that noise is in the background it's um, because I live at home and my family's pretty noisy and I don't have a microphone right now so I'm just gonna try to do my best um, so basically the first thing is to literally stay in touch and um, obviously what I mean by that is to talk to each other like once in a blue moon you know it could be like send each other snaps maybe if you have snapchat and it doesn't have to be like anything specific but it could be like oh look at this um, film it really reminded me of you or something like that or and it could even be like just to tag the person on Instagram um, uh, you know maybe you see like a really cool post or a quote or something and you really want to just share that with that person it just really helps to maintain the friendship going to make the friendship keep going <laughs> every once in a while like as well arrange a video call update each other you know and the second thing is to try to keep talking about common threads so for example with uh, my friend Alex we we really we used to get into the same um, TV shows because we used to live together when I was in the UK uh, so we used to watch like How to Get Away with Murder and Jane the Virgin and so now because it's like um, TV shows that are progressing as we speak so whenever they like come with new episodes or new seasons we like always like kind of try to talk about it and I guess it's not something that we force but um, it's just it's something that's easy to like uh, talk about because it's something that you both have in common and the third thing is to actually plan um, a certain point in the future where you will meet again because that makes it exciting as well and it makes it seem like you're actually hanging out again even though you might be far um, so it's, it's pretty easy to say this um, like it's easier said than done obviously but for me it's easier because Sweden and England are pretty pretty close so for me it's like saving money to just um, cross the ocean uh, with a plane for two hours and then I'll pretty much be in London and it's just way easier when it's closer that if you live like really really far away like maybe you live a few states away if you're from the US or maybe that person lives in France and you live in China but what you can do is to like try to meet in the middle like for me I prioritize my trips and I prioritize traveling so for me it feels like a given that I would go and visit her the fourth thing is to actually remember that it's not necessary that you talk every single day um, and my friend Alex actually said this she was like I remember when I was little I used to think that if you don't talk to someone every single day then you kind of you're not friends anymore. <laughs> I guess that's what we used to do when we were younger. You know, when we went to school and we went to kindergarten, we used to see people every day. Um, and if not, we used to like call them, like you know, more often, or we would message them on um, MSN. I don't know if you remember MSN, but that's where I was usually at and like talking to people even after school. You know, even if you do not have the time maybe to talk to someone every single day, um, just um, remember them. You know, like. Uh, remind yourself um, and that's that leads me to the fifth point which is actually to remind each other of the good times for example the other day I found this video that I made with um, Alex and our other roommate at the time Vanessa uh, where we made like this mockumentary thing for uh, uni 
and uh, I hadn't seen it in like two years I think so when I saw it I just instantly popped her a message and I was like oh remember when we did this thing remember when we filmed that and we went to this place you know and she got all nostalgic as well but I think that makes it um, a lot easier as well okay so um, the camera was the memory was full so I had to um, delete some stuff. So hopefully this time it's gonna be okay. okay let's see, the positioning is not great. Um, anyway guys, those were my five tips on how to maintain a long distance friendship. Um, and I did this video as well because I haven't seen much of this content uh, lately on YouTube. It's, um, it's more about relationships and I feel like friendships is also really important to talk about. So go follow uh, my friend Alex on YouTube. Uh, this is her YouTube channel and uh, she's actually gonna make the, a similar video talking about this topic so yeah just stay tuned for that and stay tuned for this YouTube channel <laughs> bye um, I just wanted to say before you clicked on this video that um, it's never too late to try to do anything new I met a person uh, who was kind of rude to me um, when I said that I wanted to learn how to surf because in obviously in Sweden we don't surf a lot and she told me oh you know but it's harder as you get older and I feel like that was super rude because I don't agree and uh, she wasn't even that old she was like 30 so you know um, if you want to be a youtuber if you want to be a surfer whatever um, it's never too late and shout out to everyone who's who's new at YouTube um, and who's trying to make it out there as well uh, at whatever you're doing and let's support each other let's um, let's watch each other's YouTube if you're a new youtuber as well um, just uh, give this video a thumbs up and follow me and I'll follow you back um, anyway see you <laughs>